Hey, Harry, what, uh, after a day like that, what, what, what is just the most frustrating thing about the offense not moving the ball very much? Um, I think we, we just couldn't get going. And I think a big thing for us is to try to work on is just staying on the field. Um, you know, they had, a, they had a lot of time of possession today. And I think that's one thing that we can learn from and, you know, try to just stay on the field more, convert third downs and, you know, be more positive on first and second down to get to third and manageable. How do you think the team uh, is, is handling its first Big 12 loss of the season right now? Um, I think we handled it handled it well. You know, the locker room was was you know upbeat, but you know, it was just it wasn't anyone individually. It was us as a whole unit, knowing that we have to be better. And you know, with you know some outside stuff happening to us this week, it, it was some tough circumstances. But you know, as a team, we grew a lot closer this week with with what with what went on, and you know, it was just a tough game today. So you think some distractions? Maybe led to what happened today a little bit. Um, it, no, never want to, you know, do say any of that stuff or you know blame blame distractions because you can't be distracted when you're playing football at this level. But you know, just kind of tough circumstances. I know a lot of guys were were kind of emotional this week, and including me. And it was just a tough week, but we gotta we gotta play better as a team. All right, thanks, Harry. Appreciate it. John. Yeah, Harry, how much uh, did it hurt just not capitalizing early when you guys had first and goal at the two and then back-to-back -back drives that started in West Virginia territory, not getting any points? Yeah, you know, we really needed to punch it in on that first drive. Uh, like you said, I think we had first and goal from the two or so after after that run. So, you know, we got to get points there. And, you know, we need seven instead of three there. And, you know, we got to capitalize more, like you said, when we do get the ball on good field position off a, off a deep punt or whatever it may be, we, we need to capitalize on that field position. Do you feel like it, it was a little bit deflating early on when some of that happened? Um, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say it is deflating. But you know, as, as us, we, we never get down. Um, we've came from behind a lot before. And so we, ne we never got down as a team. We just didn't execute the way we needed to while, while we were down in the red zone. Appreciate it, Harry. Thanks. Michael. Harry, what prevented the big, big play that you guys have been able to utilize for, for many games this season? Well, sorry, could you say one more time? What prevented you guys from busting a big play today? Um, you know, they're, they're a good defense. You know, you can't take anything away from them. Um, their front four are really good, and they do a lot of movements and twists and stunts. And, you know, it's tough on an offensive line to handle all that. But um, I think it was just some execution, some execution things. We had some plays downfield and stuff we could have made. and. You know, it's on uh, it's on everybody. You know, as one unit to make those plays when whenever our opportunities present themselves. Were there moments of confusion as far as what uh, defensive fronts that they presented, and you you guys just offensively having a unsituated uh, feeling? Yeah, I wouldn't say there was confusion. We prepared all week and knew what they were going to do. It's just that they execute really well at a high level. Um, those guys are all older guys and play really well together and. You know, it is tough when, you know, you're running an inside zone play and they're stunned and moving. And it's tough to see where they're coming from. And, and they're a good defense. You know, can't take anything away from them. Do two more here, starting with Mitch. Hey, Harry, uh, in the third quarter before and after the pick six, how was Will in the huddle? Was he still calm? Was he starting to panic a little bit? How did he handle it? Yeah, he, he was calm. Um, that's one thing about Will is that he, he doesn't get rattled, you know, um, and that's that's also on us, you know, me being a, a leader and a senior to help him just to keep that confidence, you know, whenever he may seem down, you know, give him a tap on the helmet, you know, we're behind you, it's all good. Um, it, that's a good thing about Will is that he's young, but he's he's really mature for how old he is. And, you know, he's never going to get down because of, of one play or two plays. So that's, that's a good thing I, I really do like about Will. Last one here, Kels. Uh, Harry, I know you weren't on the field for all of these plays, but that's the first time all year Chris uh, Deuce Vaughn hasn't uh, just erupted on on the opposition. What what do you kind of attribute that to? Um, uh, like I said, they they did a good job schematically on defense. Um, you know, it was it was just tough for not only Deuce but uh, the offenses in general. Um, you know, I think we had less than fifty yards rushing, and you know, to win games, we got to be better than that um, everywhere as an offense and. You know, it wasn't just one person doing stuff wrong. It was, you know, everybody, and we just have to be better and execute better next week against a good Oklahoma State team.